at that lovely little meadow, look. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful, isn't it? Imagine all the butterflies that are going to enjoy that. Beautiful. This is um, Hutton Millennium at Green, it's called. Um, you can see someone's been and done a bit of clearing here. I've been doing a lot of walking this week. We're all making most of the weather because it's supposed to change tomorrow. So I'm out again, even after a big hike yesterday with lots of hills. But I'm out again because, to be quite honest, we could get six weeks of grey and rain. I just left the washing up and everything. I'm just out. Now I'm doing a bit of video in here because though I'm heading for a bluebell area, not for a couple of hours, um, I do do this walk. I don't always video it in huge uh, videos. But, um, and it is quite misty. I can only just make out Steep Home in the distance. There's Western. Now there is a haze, but is it pollution? You know what I mean? Is it pollution? They do look after this area. It's nice. It's a nice little area. There's places to sit and have a picnic. And people have been out walking. They can sit here, either in the sun or in the shade. There's the old airstrip that used to be part of um, locking. RAF locking. Still got a helicopter museum there. And I think you can, some things still land there. Right, now right out there, I'll just zoom in, is bring down. It's like a big well. It is in the mist, but it's over there. I can't see it, of course, because the viewfinder, there isn't one. So I'm, I, want, I don't want to use up everything because I'm hoping to get to this bluebell area and I have videoed all this in the past. So I think I'm going to try and keep it sharp. It's just that um, short and sharp. Basically, I always like to do a good introduction. It's the 11th of May, 2024. Yesterday, I did a massive Mendip walk from Winscombe to Cheddar, including Shoot Shelf Hill, the big Cheddar Quarry up the other side, and then down the Wibbly Wobbly Path. But look at how gorgeous it is, this. Isn't it? I love it when the cow parsley's out, don't you think? A couple of little bluebells hiding there, look. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got to walk up now. A steady climb up. Windmill Hill, it's called. It's a steady climb. I'll be taking my jumper off now. But just thought I'd do the introduction of today's walk from this gorgeous park. And once again, I'm using Sony for video and Kodak for pictures and maybe a video at the end. Let's just do another picture now. Right, I'm going to turn off a minute. Turning off, making sure you video, Sheila. That's something I'm very guilty of doing. I only realised I haven't videoed when it turns itself off and it's been on standby the whole time. That's the only thing it tells me. It usually, it's usually after five minutes, but you can pack a lot into a five minute video. I usually, I've become more aware of that than before. Over and out. Just a small video. This could be video two. I've walked to the top of Windmill Hill. I stopped and take some beautiful photos of flowers and meadows but I haven't videoed anything coming up the hill because on YouTube you'll find this walk in different seasons I expect 
I'm making my way towards the plantation now. We just sat at this little little hold milk churn or where ho people get on their horses here. Just stopped here for a minute. I'm not quite sure what's down there. It might be some big private hotel or something. I, d I don't know. But there's a couple of horses in the field. See, one's see, probably seen me. I ain't got nothing for him. They're trying to eat every bit of grass they can find. He might be coming over. I don't know. I ain't got nothing for him, though. But what they do, they move them around in these patches. And they can go all the way down there. Look, they've taken the fence away. It's all western, really, over there. There's the hill fort stretching west and all the way out to the new the new areas now parklands and you know lots of places now i'm glad i live where i am actually i do like my flat i moan about it when it's very cold and bits like that but i actually do like the flat really anyway just thought i'd do a little bit up here there's a car just parked around the corner i don't know if there's anybody in it well, I've just come up Windmill Hill, which is all the way down there, past a couple of girls on their horses, having a nice gentle walk. I'm just going to turn off for a second. Back on then, so I've just passed a little car, the sort of car I want, a little one like that, to be quite honest, that's what would suit me down to the ground. There's the plantation over there, and I'm going to be walking down that way, not that way this time. Because I'm hoping to go down by the Keeper's Lodge. There's a little track down through a wood. And I'm hoping to go and see if the bluebells are still out. I mean, look at the slot here. Beautiful, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Look how beautiful they are. Gorgeous. Everything's gorgeous, isn't it? Do you know what? So I just love spring. I love it when the cow parsley's out. It's always when the cow parsley goes. Oh, I don't like it. When the cow parsley goes, it leaves us. It's another nice little scene with the brick wall. Look through there. I've got loads of videos to do MP42 or WMV. Loads. I'm going to be busy. We could do with a week of rain for me to catch up. Yeah, so I've got like four or five videos I haven't done. They're saved and they're put on disc. But they need to be made and saved in the cloud. Just in case a computer blows up. A few bluebells still showing. I really need to know what these are called. These ones. It's probably on the board somewhere and I keep forgetting. Hello, is that a little robin I can hear? He's saying hi as they pass your nest. Don't worry. Yeah. I think that's what you are, robin, aren't you? Yeah, I can't see you. I know you're saying hi and there's a nest, there's a big nest there. Isn't it? That's a big nest. And what bird's in there? It could be a magpie or crow. When I was a child, I used to know what the nests looked like. Because we used to climb up trees where the boys did, and I would sometimes go, and, and they would show me the type of nests, like what like, the birds lined their, their nests with. And um, I, I knew a lot back when I was a kid. I used to belong to the animal club as well, protecting animals, and I wouldn't let anyone hurt the birds or pinch their eggs or anything. When I was a little girl, I joined the Daily Mirror Animal Club. Look at that one, he just says, take my photo, Sheila. I'm so happy and cheerful. Look at me, I'm spreading out, enjoying everything, but I haven't got any family. You're like me then. I have got family, but that's quite a nice view, isn't it? Every time I come, 
And you know I've come here before. I come here in the winter when it's bleak. But every time I come, I get refreshed by this place. Of course, I haven't done the Banwell walk for a while. I don't tend to do it in the winter because that bridal path is really... They took away some of those little pathways. It really is like a quagmire. I'm surprised how, how I'm feeling okay. I think it'll probably catch up with me on the return. Do you? Yeah. Because I've got to go down a big hill and then I've got to come back up it in order to see these bluebells. It's near the a village called Christon, but I'm not walking to Christon. I'm not actually going to do that far today. I'm just going to go to just peek at the bluebells. They might have all died. I mean, the bluebells are, are at their total peak probably now. And the wild garlic. So this is the plantation, and we're going to walk clockwise. I can already see quite a lot of blue actually. Yeah, it's a lovely plantation. It's private, but there are little ways you can sometimes just enter it. Yeah, it's a different place in the winter. This. I mean, I walk in these sort of places in the winter because they're not far from home. But today the idea, I got the bus out to Hutton near Windmill Hill and then um, I will be walking back through Hutton Wood, which I like to do and um, oh God, look at that. let me just take a picture down there just have a look over here a minute everyone that's one way, I'm not going that way though okay, I'm not going that way today God, look at this Look everyone, look how gorgeous that is. This is the plantation. This is, I thought this is just an indication of what I'm gonna find when I go down by the keeper's lodge. Okay, this would just be an indication. Right, turning off for a minute. Just give it a rest. Right, so this is my the Sony keeps going, but I can always edit the Sony. I can split it. They're doing a good partnership, Kodak and Sony, at the moment. Um, I've got to try and decide how I managed to rescue and get it to do pictures. I did it, and then I reset the camera. And whatever I'd done, I can't remember, and it knocks out, and I'll get back to white flipping pictures again. Well, I actually got it to do it, and then I thought, oh, why don't you just reset it? It's bound to go back to normal. Well, it, it, it only went back to doing video, but white pictures. And I got it to do perfect pictures. It did nine perfect pictures for me. So this is a big wibbly wobbly bridal path. Goes right round the plantation. Now we're into the garlic area. Look. See the wild garlic and you can smell it. Gorgeous, isn't it? I'll take some pictures in a minute. Um, when I get down the bottom, there's a fork, a tea, you can go to Banwell. If you go left, you can go right and you can go to Christon or you can carry on round and join up with the West Mendip Way. Today what I'll do on the way back from the Keeper's Lodge area, which I've got to walk back up by the way, um, it's quite difficult, I pushed my bike up that hill once, oh bloody hell. I then will be walking around a bit of the plantation again joining up with another bridal path and that'll take me along and then I can well I might actually have to miss the uh, Hutton Wood I'm not sure I'm not only that there'll be a lot of golfers out today it is a bit risky I might just go straight down the Roman Road today 
I'd like to do Huttonwood though. Um, I'll see what the time's like and how I feel. If not, I can come carry on round the plantation on the way back and go down Canada Coombe and pick up the Huttonwood there. And then I can do a bit of Huttonwood, which I was looking forward to doing actually. But there, there'll be a load of golfers out. It's quite dangerous actually. Um, there ain't really any protection for you when they're hitting. They just all they do is they warn the walker, but the golfer is still whacking away. Well, I'm going to turn off for a minute, but look at all that beauty over there. I was just going ahead of myself then, talking about the way back and all that. Right, turn off Sheila, turn off. 